Fox News, especially the show The Five, made a mistake that they usually don't make. They had a Democrat on who made a good point about, you know, Republicans and their endless efforts to gut social spending programs, including Social Security and Medicare. Now, these are programs that poll very well. Not just among Democratic voters, but also Republican voters, which is why Republicans have failed time and time again in doing away with Social Security or privatizing Social Security or cutting Social Security. But nonetheless, take a look at this interaction between Jessica Tarloff and Jesse Waters. And the one thing that he hit that I do not understand, right, is at the core of the Democratic message is what happens if Rick Scott's plan goes into effect to Medicare and Social Security. And you should all, it's about a minute and a half clip of him talking about Social Security and how people in Wisconsin work their whole lives to get that money. And that if Republicans get into office, they're gonna means test things, they're gonna scale back entitlements that you've worked for. And I do not know why Democrats aren't leading with that. Can I ask, you a, it doesn't work can I ask you a serious question? Well, it is. What, what Republican president recently has, has attacked and gone after and reduced Social Security? No one has been able no to. No one. Right. But the, but and that how many mean Republican that presidents have we had in the last 50 years? We've had quite a lot, but they've never actually done what they're always being accused of. Is it in Rick Scott's plan? In his commitment the to one America? Republican in the entire Senate, yes. The <laughs> one. Yeah, except it's not one Republican in the entire Senate. A report that I shared with you all a few weeks ago talked about the right wing's plot to essentially hold the debt ceiling hostage after the midterms. What they would do, especially if they gain control of the House, is refuse to raise the debt ceiling unless the Democrats, under the leadership of Biden, agree to cutting Social Security. That report's out there. I shared the details of it. You could read about it yourselves. But then you should also answer the question coming from Jesse Waters, which is which Republican president in recent history wanted to gut Social Security? I've got an answer to that question in just a moment. But before I get to it, David, I'm curious whether you have anything to say to Jesse Waters and his denials of what Republicans are actually up to. Well, Jesse Waters constantly confirms that he is one of the dumbest people that is in broadcasting, period. Um, the fact of the matter is, just because a president can't get something done doesn't mean they don't aspire to it. And the fact of the matter is, every Republican aspires to cut Social Security, Medicare, because they consider it a government run program. They want to privatize it. They also don't like the fact that these programs work. And even if you take Republicans at their word, which I don't, that Social Security is going to start running out of money in 2035. In 13 years, it starts paying out more than it takes in. Republicans frame it as, well, the only way we can save Social Security, which would still pay out 85% of the benefits then, but if we do nothing. But the only way we can save it is we either have to raise the retirement age or we have to cut benefits. And they leave out something very important that is no, you could actually bring in more money to Social Security by raising from $147,000, the first amount that gets taxed or Social Security, bring it up to $250,000 so that wealthy people contribute more of their income to Social Security. But yep. Republicans don't want to talk about that. They just want to drown Social Security. They just want to kill it because it's a successful government run program. The way Social Security is taxed is very much regressive, right? Because lower income individuals see a higher percentage of their earned income get taxed for Social Security benefits. Whereas for wealthy people, they stop getting taxed for Social Security once their income reaches a certain limit. So David Schuster mentions the $147,000 because after that $147,000, any additional income that a person earns does not get taxed. I say instead of raising that cap, which does get raised every year, do away with that cap. Okay, why, why do we have the cap to begin with? Then we don't have to worry about Social Security being under threat. But you're right, the right wing doesn't want to have that conversation because while they might spew what sounds like economic populism, in reality, they are still very much the same party, looking out for the wealthy, looking out for elites, looking out for their corporate donors. And the problem that I see in government today is that with the you know, just rush of corporate money being 
thrown into the campaign coffers of both parties, we're starting to see this two party system kind of meld into one when it comes to representing the elites and essentially leaving everyone else by the wayside. Um, so I, yeah, go ahead. I was gonna say, I and mean, I was so glad, never, never mind also leaving people by the wayside, but I'm so glad you mentioned the polling because if you ask people about social security, I mean, it's not just a majority of Democrats and a majority of Republicans, it's strong majorities of Democrats and Republicans who not only wanna protect social security, but you, if you ask them, can we, should we bolster and expand the program? 60 to 70% say yes. But again, the Republicans are so beholden to this anti-government theory that they have that the government can't do anything. Therefore, for the government to run a social program of any kind is an anathema to what they stand for, so they have to destroy it. Now, I want to help Jesse Waters out a little bit. Apparently, you know, he's got this staff who are supposed to help him produce the show, help him research the show, make, you know, just Ensure that he doesn't say stupid things, but you know, Jesse Waters says stupid things on a regular basis. So I'll help him, I'll help him out, even though I don't have the resources he has. By going back to recent history, I remember a fairly recent president, Republican president, made his entire State of the Union speech about gutting Social Security. And that president was George Bush in 2005. Let's go to that video. Fixing Social Security permanently will require an open, candid review of the options. Some have suggested limiting benefits for wealthy retirees. Former Congressman Tim Penny has raised the possibility of indexing benefits to prices rather than wages. During the 1990s, my predecessor, President Clinton, spoke of increasing the retirement age. Former Senator John Bro suggested discouraging early collection of Social Security benefits. The late Senator Daniel Patrick Moynihan recommended changing the way benefits are calculated. All these ideas are on the table. Oh, I'm sure they were. Luckily, he didn't succeed in that effort. Uh, but you know, had Trump won a second term, Republican members of Congress were already working with him to put out proposals to privatize Social Security. Even though Trump, of course, on the campaign trail in 2016 says, "Oh, you know, read my lips, there, no way I'm ever gonna cut Social Security. I mean, he said all sorts of things on the campaign trail, then turned around and did the exact opposite. Um, you know, you look at Reagan, uh, here's another example of someone who, you know, I've noticed the right wing wants to pretend, wanted to protect Social Security, that was not the case. He considered it a welfare program. And during the 1976 Republican presidential primary, he proposed making Social Security voluntary, which as we know would have effectively destroyed the program. Because if you're making it voluntary, who's gonna wanna pay into that program? It was just a way to kind of dismantle it with you know, this facade of wanting to protect it or, or support it. But again, you can look at Republican Congress members, you could look at Republican presidents. They have had one goal and one goal only, which is cut taxes and do that by essentially gutting social spending programs, including things like Social Security and Medicare. And two programs that have lifted tens of millions of people out of poverty, kept them out of poverty programs, they have worked. I mean, if, if, if a government program, if you could predict that every government program was not gonna work, okay, then maybe there's an intellectual argument between for what Republicans are arguing. But these programs work, the waste, fraud and abuse that people talk about is, as a canard, these are programs that save people's lives. And what the yeah. what the Republicans don't want to do is they want to eke out a profit out of this. They want to transfer some of the money that is going to keep people from being poor, and they want to enrich yet another sector of society that will then flood them with campaign donations to keep a privatizing of Social Security going. It's a racket. It's absolutely a racket. And think about this: Social Security is the one and only form of retirement money that is not tied to risk, right? So if you are contributing to a 401k or an IRA, if if we privatize social security, you're gonna deal with fees, you're gonna deal with money being invested into the stock market, which by the very nature of money being invested in the stock market, it is a risk, right? You're taking a risk by investing that money. Having social security as a program that prevents essentially elderly people living in poverty, prevents them from being homeless, 
that is incredibly important to maintain, which is why that program polls so well among uh, the electorate, regardless of political ideology. And so that's why you see these Republicans trying to, you know, do this balancing act of pretending, like giving this illusion that they love Social Security and they want to protect it, when in reality, everything they propose would gut it and do away with the program that's incredibly popular with the electorate. Yeah, and the verbal gymnastics, Anna, are just remarkable. And again, for that right. sort of very point, I love that you played the clip of George W. Bush. Every option is on the table except for the common sense one you mentioned about yeah. let's make all income subject to social security taxes. That'll solve any problem that people have with the, the with with the trust fund and everything running out of money.